greenhouse and um, Matt and I thought we would talk a little bit about a different class of plants that we oh, have yeah. not really ever had a conversation about and we just got a really beautiful shipment in air plants or tillandsias and um, we thought we'd talk a little bit, show you some of the different varieties we have and talk about plant care because it's a bit different than um, say a begonia that's in your potted Definitely. soil. So. Um, and the classification of plants that we're talking about are epiphytes. Right. If you haven't heard the term before, it means that they're plants that live arboreally or inside of other trees or on top of other trees or in little notches where they might have a little pocket of soil developing. Right, right. And probably the most well-known of your epiphytes is your orchids. Orchid. Primarily your phalaenopsis and your dendrobiums. And what's cool about them is that if you take a look, you can actually see they have green roots. So a lot of times exposing the roots of plants is a bad idea, but in this case it's actually it's a good, good idea right. because that velamen that's in there actually produces photosynthesis. So that's one of the real cool things about some of your epiphytes is that they can actually produce photosynthesis out of a structure in their roots, which is really cool. A little bit different than the beautiful vanilla orchid that we have here, that's a terrestrial based orchid, which is going to do real well in kind of a regular potting soil mix where right. you want more of a bark mix for your phalaenopsis and your dendrobians. Right, and terrestrial means basically growing on the ground. Correct. So. And that's one, one of the differences. Although it's got some of the um, exposed roots, like the Phalaenopsis, it is growing um, in, in the soil. So you would treat it more like your typical house plant than you would Correct. the orchid. So let's talk a little bit about our air plants because we have so many beautiful ones. Many of them, um, you, you know, the names you can't pronounce, but they are, they are just <laughs> very, very easy to care for. Um, just a couple little tips about them. Number one, you never plant them in soil. Um, some of these, I'll pick a couple up and we can take a look and see. They don't have any exposed roots, for example, on this one. But Here you got a little baby that's got some starting right Some now. roots on those. So what we, we typically do, a lot of people think that you can just miss them and that's all you need to do. But when you get into your drier months, January and February, what we like to do is take these in a big group in trays of water. You can always add a couple droplets of your um, plant food and let them sit to about 15 minutes to a half hour so that they can absorb some moisture. And that's a good way to direct your nutrients right to the roots, to the roots. itself instead of spraying it and wasting it um, by getting the whole plant wet. Right, and as these plants age, they will develop roots. They're typically, the roots will grab a hold of something. But you'll see here on this guy, as they age, they produce the offshoots or the babies on the side. So this one started off with one, now there's two, and that's typical of all your air plants. They've become mm -hmm. masses of them. I know we've got a few from the Toledo Zoo that are just gigantic. They're gorgeous. And they have a beautiful collection at Toledo Zoo, and I was just fortunate enough, I had a friend from Florida drop one off for me. They're awesome. They're a fun little plant. They are, and they're so easy to put in your house if you don't want soil in your house. These can sit on a nice platter on your dining room table. They can go um, like we've done here. We've just set them in on top of stone where there's water on the bottom. Um, all those um, empty glass containers that you may have no use for at this point could turn into a nice little um, storage place for your air plant. And maybe you got a little buddy and you don't want to spend the money for Rogaine for hair. <laughs> you can make your own hair using the air plant here, this cute little uh, tiki guy. Yeah, just different, different plants. Here's one that's got some great color. And um, I mean, these are just, just absolutely beautiful. I think that um, a lot of people have little tiny votive candle holders at their house. They can set these in. Um, Good centerpiece, too. Absolutely. They're beautiful. And another thing, a lot of times people hear air plants and they immediately think of spider plant or chlorophytum. And this is actually a different type of plant. This is not like your air plants. And even though it does produce these little offshoots, eventually they prefer to be in a soil base, right. not exposed to the elements. But they do look similar. So yep. not to confuse them, but the spider plants being very, very popular. Um, One of the easiest house plants you could ever ask for. Absolutely. So um, come in, take a look at our, our air plant selection, and um, let us help you offer some ways to um, display them at your home. Thanks. The ashtray says you were up all night. It's mine
the sea. 